guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very much an impromptu get ready with me. I am going out with some of my closest friends for a little girls night in an Indian restaurant. So I thought, why not film my makeup and what I do? Don't ask about my hair because I don't even know what I did. I literally just whipped it up and curled some flyaway pieces. <laughs> if you wanna see how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Starting out with base, I'm gonna take this By Terry product. It's a brightening CC serum, and I'm just gonna add some glow to my face because I want this to be really healthy and glowy and just shiny. Um, so I thought this would be a great base product. For foundation, I'm using a new one to me. It's the YSL Touche Clat Le Tient. I think that's just the regular one, if I'm correct. I'm using the shade B30, and it's perfect when I have a little bit of color. So I have a little bit of a sun-kissed glow, nothing too dark. So this will give me the perfect amount of coverage, perfect amount of depth to the skin, but it is more of a lightweight foundation, like light medium. You can definitely build it up to get the coverage you want. Probably gonna do two layers in areas that need it, but overall, I'm just doing a light buff. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit, I feel like you're a little far away for a makeup tutorial. Okay, moving on to concealer. My favorite concealer ever, the Bare Minerals Liquid Mineral Concealer. I use Fair 1W under my eyes just because it's nice and brightening and I don't want too much coverage. But for the rest of my face, I have more of a skin tone shade and it's light to see. Using my beloved Huda Beauty setting powder in Pound Cake, I'm gonna put this on areas that of course, I need a little bit more coverage, but will also get oily throughout the day. It's great to set under your eyes, obviously, although I'm trying to minimize how much powder I put under my eyes just because I feel like it starts to look a little bit too powdery and then it really gets into those creases or fine lines and it just builds up and it just does not look cute. So I'm just using a small amount to fill in any pores to reduce the oilage <laughs> throughout the day um, and just give a little bit more of a matte effect in the center of my face. I was gonna use a cream bronzer, but I opted out for this palette. I was just sent from Sculpted by Amy Connolly. It's the collaboration with Tara, and look how beautiful this is. I think there's only a couple left in stock, but I'm gonna use this bronzer, kind of similar to um, NARS Laguna, um, just a really pretty neutral medium shade bronzer. So I'm gonna use this on a small, what is this, e.l.f. blush brush. Really good for getting into those contour areas. I'm just gonna buff it in to give a little bit more structure to my face, dimension, and obviously color. I'm gonna do a very small amount of brow pencil just to even out my brows in sparse areas. This is the medium arch pencil from Code 8. Just gonna give a little bit more definition to these bad boys just because my hair's up, so I feel like I need to give a little bit of structure. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer that we used, and if I can open this, put it in the crease of my eyes just to give a little bit of definition, making sure it's really staying at my crease, slightly buffing out towards my brow so it has more of an almond shape, but we are gonna play with the most beautiful, glittery, sparkly eyeshadow ever. You guys know I love it. Once you see it, you'll hopefully remember it, but I want a little bit of a background shade, so this will do just fine. So if you remember, last year I was obsessed with these little Nabla sparkly palettes. Oh my goodness, this one I haven't really used on here yet just because where was I going in lockdown? It is so beautiful and these really show up and they stay. That's what I love about them. So I'm going to take the shade, oh, I was debating between these two. I feel like I always do like golds and stuff, so I'm thinking maybe more the topier purple, because why not? And it's in the shade Virgo. Also, Nabil is 100% vegan. It is such an underrated brand in my opinion. Like, they have so many great quality products. I love their foundation. Also, their concealer is really good too. But their shadows are unbelievable. Just watch this, literally, on my finger. Like, insane. Maybe I should come closer to you. Then going back to the Amy Sculpted Palette, I'm gonna take the highlighter shade right here and pop it in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. I am gonna take a liner to accentuate the outer corner just a little bit, but first I'm gonna take my Tweezerman Lash Curler and do a quick little lift of the lashes. And then I'm also gonna take the Sculpted by Amy Connolly Duo Lip, not lip, eyeliner. It's black and nude, so if I can open it. I'm gonna take the black side and just do like one 
little flick, like a little eyelash that went a little crazy, like that. And then sharpen up the edge with my fingernail. Easy peasy. Great, happy with that. Okay, now I'm moving on to mascara. I have my Codate Sophisticate Lash, which I love. But I've been using that a lot lately. So I think I'm going to use the Lancome Lash Idol one and just do a good couple coats of it. I might actually mix it too. I want it to be like dramatic lashes. Don't worry guys, I didn't forget blush. Using the Sculpted by Amy Connolly blush. This is in the shade Peach. Although I think I'm going to go on with a powder on top. But let's go on with this first just to give a little bit of extra dewiness to the cheeks. And because we don't have an actual like highlighter on our face, I'm going to take the new big size. I think it's like the jumbo size of NARS Orgasm Blush, the ever so famous. And just pop that on top. And because this has a really pretty gold under sheen, I'm just going to tap more on the top part of the cheek. It's going to set the blush that we just put on, but also give the tiniest bit of sheen. Can you see? There you go. Okay, before lips, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Iconic London Bronze Setting Spray and do a couple pumps of that. Also gonna take my favorite setting spray, which is the Benefit Professional Center of the Face. I'm gonna take Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, line my lips and lightly fill them as well. And then to top it off with a little bit of gloss, I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss Balm in Heart. A little bit of setting powder just around the nose to secure any oil and that is it it's definitely a feel-good kind of makeup very much me although the sparkle adds a little bit of glam a little bit of glitz hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what other makeup looks you want to see from me down in the comments below as always don't forget to like share and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i'll see you in the next video bye